What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. Now let's jump right on into it and talk about how to drive these geared tractors. Now, on a lot of compact tractors and utility tractors, the hydrostatic transmission has been very, very popular over the last couple decades. So that is the transmission where we're talking about putting it in high, middle, low and then having a couple of foot pedals over here on the right hand side or maybe in some other brands having that treadle pedal or other types of just a pedal to go forward and backward but here we're going to be talking about using the actual geared transmission so by me here what i've got is a john deere 5045e which is going to have a 93 sync shuttle transmission and then back behind me here is going to be a john deere 5055e and this is going to have a 1212 power reverser transmission now, these are both gonna be geared transmissions, but the way that they function are completely different. On one, we're gonna have to use a clutch for any type of changing of direction or changing gears that we need to do. And then on the other, we're gonna see a power reverser, which is going to give us the option to change directions without using the clutch. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop here on the 5045E, and we are just gonna go over the full instruction on how to drive the 93 sync shuttle. All right, so there in the intro, you heard me talking about some numbers, 93. 12 12 what do these numbers mean well nine three is going to stand for nine forward gears and three reverse gears that's going to correspond also whenever we're talking about this 12 12 power reverser that means we're going to have 12 forward gears and 12 reverse gears and then you'll notice that that's a continuing pattern among most geared transmission tractors across multiple different brands if you hear that if you hear the one number slash another number that is most of the time going to indicate how many forward and how many reverse gears we have so starting over here on the 5045e how we are getting our nine gears for one over here on the left hand side we are going to have a range selector and as you can see here on this range selector we are going to have a b and c so that's going to give us the three ranges now if we move over here to our right hand side we're going to see here that we have three gears once again we're going to have one two and three but we're also going to have a reverse down here whenever we're looking at our gears over here the thing that we have to keep in mind is that we have three ranges and three gears so whenever we're going forward we have three ranges with three different gears in them so three times three equals nine different gears going forward. But where we only get our three reverse gears is that as you'll notice, we have reverse on one spot here and then in those three ranges. So you only have three reverse gears because we have the three ranges times the one reverse spot here, which is going to make that that nine three transmission. Now also, whenever we're looking up here on the steering column, there is nothing up here on the steering column. We look down at our feet. We do not have those pedals that we're gonna be using to push because over here on the right hand side, these are gonna be our brake pedals. Now we do have a throttle pedal right down here in the orange, but then over here on the left hand side is where our clutch is gonna be. Now on this tractor, we're gonna be using the clutch for everything that we do. So for instance, if I wanna start this tractor up, I'm gonna start by putting my foot on the clutch, get our key in the machine, turn it once, that's gonna turn it on. And once we turn it again, it's gonna start up the machine just like that. Now, one of the other things that you'll have noticed is that on this tractor also, and we'll see this over on the other one, is that we do have a park position as well. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my foot on the clutch and I'm gonna take this tractor out of park while also having my foot on the brake. So now I'm gonna pull that up over and in and now i'm in neutral whenever you can move that knob freely that lever you are in neutral so we're going to check over here we're in neutral as well first thing that i've got to do is i've got to select my range so i'm going to go over here and we're just going to go into low gear which is going to be our a so we're going to go over and back that puts us in a gear so now we're in low now over here i'm going to put it into one just that so we're in that slowest range just so you see how this works so once we've got that going there now we can take our foot off of the brake we're in that forward gear and then once i start to release my foot off of that clutch we're going to slowly start creeping forward just like that now if i want to stop i'm going to hit the clutch then hit the brake and if i want to go into reverse i've got to move my shifter up back into neutral then i'm going to go over and back and that is going to put us into reverse. So once again, I'm gonna take my foot off of the brake and then off of the clutch, and we'll slowly start to go there in reverse. Now, if I wanna stop, once again, foot on the clutch, 
foot on the brake, and that is going to stop this machine. So if I wanted to stop this machine, go ahead and put it into park. What I wanna do first, I wanna make sure it's in neutral here. Go over, up, and down. That is going to put us into that park position. So if I wanna take it out, it's just like that. And it gives you directions here on the knob of where your gears are going to be at. Now, what we have over here is that A, B, and C. So what these gears are gonna be are gonna be your low, your working gear, and your travel gear. Once again, we'll go ahead and move this up into B. This is gonna be our working gear. We're gonna go over here to our gear shift. We're gonna put this down into one. I'm gonna let off of my brake and slowly let off of my clutch. And then now we are in that B range right there, moving forward. One more time, if we wanna go in reverse, we're gonna move that up out of one, move it over and back. Now we're in reverse. We're gonna let off of that clutch slowly, just like that. And that sends us into reverse. As you notice, everything that I'm having to do here is having to do with my clutch and my brake pedal right here. So we'll go ahead and put this machine in park. That is the easy breakdown of how we run a 9.3. So we're gonna put everything in neutral on the left-hand side. Then on the right-hand side, we're gonna make sure we're in park. We're gonna make sure we're all the way throttled down. Then we can let off our brake, let off of our clutch, and now we can turn that machine off. All right, so on this machine, once we get on it, we're gonna look over to our left. And first thing we're gonna notice is we have our range selector, just like we did on the 9.3. So we're gonna have A, B, and C. This is our low gear, our working gear, and our road gear or travel gear. So same setup over here on the left-hand side. Once we move over here to the right-hand side, we have one, two, three, and four. This is where we're going to get that 12-12. So now we have three ranges, four gears and then up here on the steering column we're going to have this lever here and this is our power reverser so this is what's going to change us in direction from forward to neutral to reverse done all right here on the column so this is what's going to give you 12 forward and 12 reverse because no matter what range we're in over here on the left and what gear we're in over here on the right we do have a forward and reverse with our power reverser. Now, the other thing with this is, is that whenever we have a power reverser, we are not having to use the clutch near as much. Whenever we are just changing directions on this tractor, when we're changing from forward to reverse, you do not have to use the clutch to do that. And I'm gonna demonstrate that right now. So same thing, we go to start up the machine, we're gonna go ahead and get our foot on the clutch. Go ahead and turn this on, just like so. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put my foot on the brake here. I'm gonna take the machine out of park over here on the right hand side and we can go ahead and put it in gear. So we're gonna put it in one. Then over here on my left hand side, we're gonna go into our A working gear. So we're gonna go over and down and now we're in A1. So we are in that lowest gear. So what I'm gonna do now is you'll see up here on the dash that we have that in lit up showing that we are in neutral. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let off of my brake pedal right here. And then I'm gonna let off of my clutch. And as you notice, we're not moving. So we're in our one, we're in A, but our power reverser here is in neutral. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and raise up on my bucket to start, I like to clutch it. You don't have to, but we're gonna clutch it. We're gonna go up into forward. We're gonna slowly let off and see this machine just start to creep. So we are rolling. Now, if I wanted to go into neutral and stop right now with this tractor, all I have to do right here on my power reverser is boom, move that back to neutral and I'm in neutral. Now, you'll notice that we are rolling a little bit here and you will if you're on a hill. So you do still have your brake pedal here that you can hit on. But if I wanna go into reverse from right here stopped, I can go right into reverse and that tractor will pick up right from where I left off. So right there, throw it into neutral. And as you do this, once you're changing these directions, it's not going to just jerk and take off really fast. It's also not going to just stop really fast. It has sensors on this transmission and electrical components that know to slow this tractor down at a slower pace. So we're gonna go ahead and back up here just a little bit. I'm gonna put this in a little higher gear, show you how that works one more time. So we'll go into neutral. Now from here, whenever I'm changing gears, I'm gonna go ahead and push on my clutch and on my brake just to be sure. Now I'm gonna move this up and over 
and we are gonna move this up into three. Now, we're still in our A range, but we're in a little higher gear. I'm gonna go ahead and raise up my throttle just a little bit. I'm gonna let off my brake, let off my clutch, and then now I'm gonna go ahead and hit my power reverser going forward, and it's gonna take off just a little faster. Same thing here. Go ahead and go back into neutral. Then I'm gonna go back into reverse. It's gonna slowly take off into that reverse speed. So back into neutral. Go ahead and hit my clutch, hit my brake. Now I can go back, put everything back into park. So up, over, and down into park on this transmission. Make sure to put our range in neutral. We're gonna lower down our throttle. We can let off our brake and our clutch and then go ahead and turn the tractor off. Now, some of the questions that are gonna come about is why do we need different transmission options on these types of tractors? Why is it not just one rather than the other? And there's a couple of different answers there. For one, it's gonna be a price point deal. If you go into the 9.3, you have the more basic transmission that's gonna be a plain Jane geared transmission. You only have those nine forward with those three reverse, so it's a lot more basic transmission. So you are gonna get it in that cheaper price point than you would with a 12.12 power reverse. Now, the other thing too is the type of use that, that this tractor is going to be in. So whenever we're talking about applications where maybe with this tractor, all we're looking at doing is pulling different equipment. We're gonna be pulling trailers. We're gonna be pulling a box blade. We're gonna be doing a lot of things that do not have a lot of directional change. Therefore, having just the plain Jane transmission is going to work just fine for us. Now, whenever we're talking about doing a lot of loader work, hence right here, we have a loader on this machine. We're gonna Going to be doing a lot of back and forth. We're going to be using implements where we're going to have to change direction a lot. As you saw right there in the video, it's a lot easier to go from one direction to the other with that power reverser than it is on a 9.3 where we're having to change an actual gear rather than just flipping our power reverser. So those are going to be the two things that are the main difference between why these transmissions exist. Also guys, I know that whenever you're looking into these tractors and we're talking about moving up into that five series because we need that heavier weight, we need more power. Those geared transmissions can oftentimes, especially for a newer operator, seem very intimidating. But as you saw right there in the video, they are very easy to use, nothing intimidating about them. Sometimes that clutch pedal, instead of it being a brake and having our hydrostatic pedals over here, gets a little bit nerve wracking. But guys, as you saw right there, whenever you're in that lowest gear, it's gonna go very low and slow. And so you have plenty of opportunity to get good and comfortable with your machine before you have to actually go out there and use it. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you're needing any John Deere parts at all, make sure to check us out at 247parts.com. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.